Hi ladies and welcome to your slow flow Pilates class. So this class would be perfect for you if you're feeling a little bit lethargic um, and not feeling like you have a lot of energy to exercise but you still want to move. This practice is going to be perfect for you. So let's get started. We're going to come down onto your hands and knees. I'm just going to spin around to this side. So your hands are just underneath your shoulders, knees are underneath the hips. Let's just warm up through the spine. Take a big breath in. We're going to arch through the spine. Just look up or straight ahead. And exhale, let's do a big curl and just look at your belly button, push through the floor. Just nice little cat cows, inhale. Big breath in, connect with your breath. And exhale, big breath out. So just once again, as we're moving through, just a reminder that in Pilates, we're gonna breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. So in through the nose. And an audible breath out the mouth. This really helps just make sure that you're breathing through your practice and exhale out. It also helps activate the abdominals as well. One more, inhale and exhale. Nice. Now let's come back wide knees. So send those knees nice and wide, big toes together. Arms out in front and head down. Just take one big breath in and a long breath out. And slowly make your way all the way up onto your hands and knees. So we're going to start in a tabletop position today. We're going to bring the right leg behind you, left arm out in front. You're going to take a big breath in. You're going to tap the hand and foot together to the floor. And then exhale, we're going to lift it up. We're going to inhale, tap, and exhale, lift it up. Let's go down for one. Exhale, lift. Two, pointing through your right toe. Three, really reach with this left hand. Four, push into the floor with your right hand. Five, and you've got a nice, strong right arm. Six. Seven, just keeping those hips square. Eight, nine, let's go 10 more. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, then you're gonna hold it up and one. Hold it up nice and straight. We're gonna dip and lift, dip and lift. Four, one, two, so at the same time, three, just little ones up and down. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's go for 10 more. Four, 10, nine, eight, strong back. Seven, six, five, Four, nice and strong from the midline. Three, two, and one. Big breath in, hold. Exhale, let's release. Knee down, hand down. Come down onto the forearms. That right arm would have been working. You're going to interlace the hands, extend the pinky index, and cross the thumbs. So elbows are under the shoulders. Left knee is still on the floor, so we're still going to move the right leg. Right leg behind, point the toes, square the hips. We inhale, tap, exhale, lift. Down and lift. Here we go. Four, one, two. So squeeze the right glute. Three, when you bring it up to the sky. Four, we don't want to fling the leg. Five, so it's just a nice lift. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten more. Come on. Let's go for ten. Nine, nice and strong through those arms. Eight, really push into the floor. Seven, six, five, four more. Three, two, and one. Big breath in, we hold. We're gonna pulse up and down. So just like four little ones, we go down and up. Four, one, two, back of the legs working. Three, great for cellulite. Four, strengthening the hamstring. Five, six, Seven, eight, nine, we've got ten more. Four, ten, nine, eight, you're also working. Seven, the left glute. Six, so everything's kind of working here. Five, including the arms. Four, three, two, and one. Hold it up. We're going to bend as you flex the foot. Exhale, point and straighten the leg. We inhale, flex, bend. Exhale, point and straighten. Just for ten, keep the knee nice and high. Nine, 
eight, just looking down between the arms or at the hands. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job, let's bring the knee all the way down. Let's come back, knees nice and wide, arms out in front, head to the floor. Let's take a big breath in through the nose. And a long breath out. Two more like that, big breath in. Long breath out, breathe into the belly. Big breath in. Big breath out. Slowly lifting your head, come all the way up. Hands under the shoulders. Let's do the other side. I'm gonna bring your left leg behind this time. Left hand stays on the floor. Remember it's opposite arm to opposite leg. Right hand out in front. Pointing your left toe. Let's take a big breath in, we're gonna tap. Exhale, we lift together. We inhale lower, exhale, we lift. Four, one, <clears throat> two, so you wanna look down at the ground. Three, you don't wanna crunch through the neck. Four, just looking straight down. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten more. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three more. Two, strong through that left arm. And one, hold it up. We're gonna pulse up and down. Little dip, little lift. Four, one, two, three, four, five. Use your breath. Six, seven, eight, nine. Let's go for 10 more. For 10. Nine, eight, let's go seven more. Six, five, four more. Three, two, and one. Take a big breath in and hold. Exhale, slowly release. Come down onto the forearms. Interlace the hands again. I just find this is the most comfortable. Extend the pinky index, cross the thumb, elbows under the shoulder. So you don't want the elbows out like this. So just really pay attention that they're staying nice and strong in the arms because you're also going to work the shoulder and it's better for your shoulder integrity if they're nice and stabilized. Right knee on the floor, left leg behind. Let's keep it nice and straight, hips are square, so we're not opening up like this, flinging up the leg. We're just going to inhale, tap it, and exhale, lift it. For one, lift. Two, three. So there's lots of repetition in Pilates. Four, we always do different movements. Five, but with similar movements attached to them. Seven, eight, nine. So we're still working the leg. 10, we've just changed the arms up. 10, nine, eight, seven. Really building on that one muscle. Six, five, four. In three, you're gonna hold the leg up. In two, so don't drop the leg down. And one, we're gonna hold it up and pulse. We dip and lift, you dip and lift. Four, one, two, three, four, five. Come on, strong arms. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Come on, point your toes. Foot ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hold it up, don't drop, don't drop. We're gonna flex and bend, exhale, point, extend. We inhale, flex, bend, exhale, point, extend. For 10, nine, so do the feet as well. Eight, seven, six, really good for the ankle joint. Five more, four, three, two, and one. Inhale, hold, exhale, let's release. Should feel the back of the legs and the glutes. Let the arms go, head down. Three breaths, take a big breath in. And a long breath out. So really breathe into your belly now. Feel the oxygen go all the way down, inhale. 
and exhale. Last one like that, inhale and exhale. Lift the hand, come all the way up. And now we're gonna come down onto your left side. So I'm just gonna spin around so you can see me. Coming down onto the left side. Now we're gonna keep your left forearm on the floor. So the elbow is underneath your shoulder, arm nice and straight, so then you've got hand in line with your elbow. So just take a second to line yourself up. So we're, we're not trying to hang down here with our neck at our shoulder, neck at our shoulder, ear at our shoulder. <laughs> you want to push into the floor so you're nice and strong through this left arm. If this hurts your shoulder for any reason, please do all of this down on your elbow, okay? Otherwise, come with me, stacking the knees, so we're in a right angle, 90 degrees with the legs. Knees in line with the hips, feet in line with your knees. So most people will naturally bring their feet back here towards the bum, bring them back out so in line with your knees. Hand to the floor or to the hip, up to you. There's lots of options. We're gonna inhale here to prepare, exhale, we just lift the top knee only, leave the feet on the floor, feet are together. We inhale lower, exhale, we lift. Down and up. Let's go for 10, nine, Eight. So again, if you don't want this arm, seven, if you're a bit uh, not feeling as strong today through this left side, you can come down onto the elbow, okay? It's gonna make it a little bit easier. Let's go three more. Two, we wanna keep adding on. And one, we're gonna go halfway, whole way. We're gonna lower, lift, and lift. We lower, lift, and lift. Here we go, for 10. Up, up. Nine. Eight. Seven, so you should be able to feel this left arm now. Six, so it's still working. Five, we're just not actually actively using it. Four, three, two, hold it up in a sec, and one, don't drop the knees. Hold it up, we're gonna dip, lift, dip, and pulse. Four, 10, nine, should feel this outer glute. Eight, seven, six, five, I'm not done. In four, we're gonna add on. In three, I know, in two, and one, it looks so easy. We're gonna tap your big toes together and kick the leg. We're gonna tap the big toe, oh my gosh, and kick for 10, and kick it, and nine, eight, keeping the hips stacked, seven, six, woo, five, four, three, two, and one. Take a big breath in. Oh my gosh, exhale, release the knee. Give yourself a little pat of the bum. And one more thing and then we're gonna switch your, we're gonna switch sides. Back into that position. Okay, so we're gonna inhale, exhale, open. We inhale, exhale, kick. So we're gonna come down, close, open, and kick. We go inhale, exhale, we inhale, exhale, kick. For 10, close, open, kick. Nine, little combo, open, stay with me. Up, eight, Close, open, kick. Oh my gosh, seven, you should be burning down. Up and kick. Six, down, up, come on, kick five more. You can do it halfway. Down, up, kick. Close, down, up, kick three more. Come on, three, close, open, kick three more. Come on, close, open, I lost my count. We've got one more, go <laughs> down, close. Open and kick, oh my gosh, release. Let's come all the way down. We're just gonna come down. Now we're not gonna do a big twist, we're just gonna open up those knees a little bit. Hand comes to the outside, let's just open up. So we're just not doing a massive crunchy twist, it's just a little bit just to release that side of the body. Just moving the right shoulder a little bit to the floor, but not a big twist, it's just an open, releasing through that hip, should feel nice. Okay, and then you're gonna slowly come all the way back up again. Swing the legs, well actually, excuse me, you're just gonna go to the right side. I'm gonna swing around so you can see me better. So we're gonna find the right arm again. Bend the knees, we're nearly done. Knees are stacked, feet on top of each other. Hand to hip, or you can bring the hand to the floor. Ready? Get nice and square, so knees in line with your feet, knees in line with the hips. So have a look, and then make sure the elbow is nice and direct under the shoulder. When I take a big breath in, exhale, we're just gonna open, keep the feet together. 
We inhale, close. We exhale, open. Try to keep those hips stacked. Try not to lean back. Let's go for nine more. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four more. Three. Two. And one. Then you got halfway, whole way. So we lower, lift, lift. Just ten. Ten. Up, then up again. Nine. Try not to fling this knee open. Eight. It's just a lift, keeping the hip square. Seven. Six. Five. Four. You should also feel this right glute. It hurts as well as <laughs> this other one. We go for three more. Up. That's normal. We go two. Up. Up. And one. Now don't close the knees. Here's them open. We're going to dip and lift. Dip and lift. Just for ten. Nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now toes touch, we're gonna inhale, tap, exhale, we're gonna kick. My knees just cracked like I'm 100 years old. <laughs> we're gonna tap and then kick, come on, nine more. Go nine, eight, straight leg when you kick. Seven, try not to lean back too much. Six, five, this one's a burner. Come on, four more, you can do it, kick. We got three, two, oh my gosh, and one. Take a big breath in and hold. Exhale, let's slowly release. Now we've got the combo before we go anywhere else. So we're gonna come back to that position. We're gonna open the knee, we're gonna kick the leg. We toes together, knees together. We open, we kick, toe together, knee together. Nine more, come on, open, kick, toes, knees. Eight, kick, toes, then knees. Go seven. Inhale. Exhale. Six. Inhale. Exhale. Close. Five more. Inhale. Exhale. Four. Nearly there. Come on. Toes. Knees. Three more. Three. Ooh, should be burning. Come on. Two. Toes. Knees. Last one. Come on. Open. Kick. Toe. Oh my gosh, well done, that's actually really hard. Send those knees a little longer so they're away from you. Feet can stretch out, and then we're gonna just come down again and just kind of roll over to that left side just gently, so it's just a little opening, it's not a big twist. Try and release through that left hip a little bit. I need some nice stretches after this, I think, so take some time to stretch. Now we've just got a couple more minutes, so we're gonna do one more exercise. So we're gonna roll down or roll over, I should say, onto your back, lying flat on the back. Lift the knees, or lift the feet, I should say, bend the knees. Now bring your hands just to the lower belly. So we don't do much abdominal work, um, but in the first trimester, these little exercises are still really good, but we're gonna keep the head on the floor. So we're gonna lower the right toe away, and then we're gonna lift the foot back off. We're gonna lower the left toe, and then lift. So just nice and slow, feeling the lower abdominals. It's nice and gentle, and we're just doing one at a time. So we'll inhale down and exhale up. Inhale lower, exhale lift, nice. Let's go for 10 more. Nine, eight, seven, six, hands can be beside you if you prefer. Five, four, Three, two, and one. Take a big breath in and exhale. Let's just bring the knees wide, holding onto the knees and releasing through those inner thighs and the groin, just rocking from side to side. Just taking a big breath in through the nose and a long breath out. Well done, just one more like that. Big breath in through the nose. And a long breath out. Nice. Because this is a nice solo flow Pilates today, we're just gonna finish with one little stretch, a nice little happy baby. So we bend the knees and grab your hands to the outside edges of your feet or the inside edges. As long as the knees come towards the underarms, pulling the feet nice and close. We'll be here for five breaths. Five. Four, 
three, two, and one. Cross those ankles, bring the knees all the way in, and then just rolling off to your left side and making your way all the way up, just finding a seated position. Taking your time to come all the way up. We're gonna close down the eyes, just breathe the hands on the knees and just taking one big breath in through the nose. And a long breath out the mouth. Inhale, let's lift the arms all the way up above the head, joining the hands into prayer. And as you exhale, let's bring them all the way down through the midline to the heart space, just resting those thumbs on the sternum. And the next inhale, just thinking of one thing you could be grateful for today about your body. And on the exhale, just letting it go. And gently blinking, open the eyes and just releasing the hands. And well done, ladies. You're all done. That was a nice slow flow. So feel free to use that anytime you're feeling a little bit low in energy. And I will see you soon.